Um, so I've look at a couple of examples now um, we, where we've used it within the organization and kind of go over a couple of the case studies that, that we had. Um, so the first one is actually um, around a C2 stealer. So this particular company, they work in um, health and safety tools. They're a health and safety tools provider. Um, they're actually an existing managed service customer with ourselves. Um, however, they had a breach on a Team City server that was on a part of their business that we unfortunately don't manage. Um, so um, they engaged with us as part of a incident response engagement to, to ascertain what the impact was on the server and whether any data was potentially exfiltrated. Now, when we were going through this um, as part of the collection exercise, um, found out the customer had um, has a GitHub repository that's also linked up with this Team City server, and there was um, potential for, for exfiltrated data. So what we did, we wanted to understand whether the data was being sold on the dark web um, and whether there's anything at all coming up from GitHub on, on this particular one. So we used the um, the dark IQ tool to sort of do a point in time exercise and just see what was what was kind of out there, so we can get the additional reassurance and the wraparound to give to the customer. Now, actually, while we were doing this, um, the one thing that did flag up, as you can see, the example on the screen there, the, the bottom example there, and um, we actually identified the um, a C2 call out um, from an end user device, which was actually on a completely unrelated to the incident response engagement they were actually doing, um, and actually again not on a on a completely different area than the um, the company we don't actually currently support. Um, so it was really interesting. Now, what was really good with this particular example is that they we were able to get all the information that we needed, including the URL, which was really interesting because it was it was actually looking like a like a payroll system. So obviously, our level of risk was was going up quite a lot higher. Um, and then we had the actual password itself that was being captured. And when we had a look at that. The actual password itself was was potentially credible. Um, it was something that you could potentially match kind of corporate password policies. Um, so again, obviously level going up even further. Um, so we're able to get the um, the actual details for the for the device in question, and then we're able to go to the um, go to the customer and, and give them all the information they need to be able to identify the device. Um, so from that, and based on, on the information we gave, we were able to get the, the password reset, reset their RFA, and get their um, get their laptop rebuilt, and also provide instructions on how to review the, the login logs off the back of it and everything. Um, so that was really interesting, and we actually managed to get a lot of that, and it's obviously really good for the customer, and again, another value add. It's kind of one of these areas where um, you don't know what you don't know. 